there any better way to start your morning than a nice hot cup of coffee? I don't think so. You have coffee in yours right now. I do. Uh, I, I don't have any in mine right now. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, cold coffee, too. Cold brew has been turning to, to be quite popular. Yeah, I do like too. cold brew. Yeah, not just hot coffee anymore. And uh, I'll tell you who's got it all. The Green Bean Coffee House really in Altoona, do. Pennsylvania. That and is that, for sure. it, yeah, and that's where our Morgan Cozier is this morning. She's taking a look at this local coffee shop celebrating a big anniversary. Morgan, we saw you making a really delicious drink. I know, KC, <laughs> the minute you said chocolate cake, KC was on board. And I know that's Travis's creation, too. I'm sure it's fantastic. It was fantastic, and wait till you hear about the next one we're going to make. You are going to love it, Casey. We are live this morning at Green Bean Coffee House. Like you said, their doors opened just a few minutes ago. They've already had a customer come through the drive-thru. If you didn't know, they have a drive-thru, which is <laughs> awesome. So you don't even have to come inside. They'll do all the work for you and give it to you at the comfort of your own car. I'm here with Travis. Like I said, he's the owner, our friend here. Uh, what are you going to make? You're making a hot drink this time. This yeah, sounds absolutely. really good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another one of our specialty drinks. I'm doing a chocolate-covered banana for myself. Um, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of like whole milk. Um, I'm actually going to use almond milk for this one. Okay. Um, I like almond. It's a little mm -hmm. bit more of a sweeter taste. Um, so we do have different milk options and stuff for people as well. Skim, almond, uh, coconut, soy, you know, so, uh, those who have lactose issues and such, yeah. you know, we got you covered. You said even keto. Yeah. Yeah. Actually have a whippy cream and stuff like that. So. Very good. Yeah. All right. Let's get started. Yeah. Let's All right. Do it. Uh, so we're doing everything is going to be regular size for our anniversary. So all of our regular size drinks will be two dollars. So I'm doing a two dollar chocolate covered banana for myself. Okay, so this is espresso, right? This is our espresso. We grind everything fresh. Um, when you made your shot this morning, you know you ground it fresh. So uh, all the shots are ground appropriately, and we do doubles. Um, what I just poured in here was the almond milk, and we time all of our shots as well. Do you remember what I told you? You said 22 to 27? Yes, okay. yes, and that's <laughs> for uh, this specific roast. The uh, average score should usually be um, 20 to 30 is the normal for espresso base, okay. but for this particular roast, it's been narrowed down. Um, that's the best time for is 22 to 27. Um, if it does fall a little bit short, it's a little bit more on the weaker side, and obviously, oh, look at that one, 24, right in the button. There you go. Um, you know, we're steaming our milk right now. We like the nice rolling effect here for it. Now, certain milks you don't want to steam quite as long because it'll start giving you a little bit more of a burnt taste because uh -huh. there's not as much fats and stuff in the milk. Uh, with almond milk, uh, usually about 125, 130 is usually pretty good for it. So espresso, 24 seconds, mm -hmm. perfect shot. This is all ready to go. Okay. Let's go add the flavors. All right. So right now, chocolate covered banana. So what do you think is going to go into it? Well, chocolate and banana, I would there think. There you go. It's not that hard, but you know what? It tastes good. And even when it's hot, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, chocolate and banana. I couldn't imagine how hot. This is actually yeah. one of my favorite drinks to make, um, hot based. It's it's super, super good. You know who else would like this? I think a monkey. So. I Casey Cans would love this drink. This would be the perfect drink for him. Well, you know what? I, I know that Casey Cans guy, and uh, you know what? I agree. Yeah. He would be lucky for it. <laughs> no, but you guys have so many different syrups and flavors that you can add to anything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we have, gosh, over 20 something flavors. Yeah. You know, the world's kind of your oyster when it comes to things. You know, you can have some fun. You know, we get people who make their own drink up. You're like, oh, I want to try a caramel raspberry. Okay. Wow. You know, whatever you'd like to do. Um, you know, we'll create it and throw it in for you. Yeah, so you can get pretty adventurous. And all these specialty drinks, tomorrow they're going to be $2 for your guys' uh, second year anniversary. Mm -hmm. It's a big party going on. Uh, tell everyone what else what, what else is going on. Live Absolutely. music? Absolutely. We're going to have live music here, um, you know, by the band Wilted. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be face painting as well. Um, we're going to have a live broadcast from our friends out Jack FM. There's going to be lots of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, you got to get down here. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to let you try your drink. Thank and you. Uh, we will send it back <laughs> to you guys in studio. You want me to take it away? I'm, I'll let the we'll let the monkey take it away. I Morgan guess. Morgan <laughs> is calling you out this morning. Yeah, and Travis agreed with her. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. I know. What's worse, Christy called me a bald eagle one time. That that is, Christy did call you a bald eagle. A one. monkey or a bald eagle? You well, know, you'll have to. Can be both, I guess, right? You'll have to pick your poison. I get that. Those drinks look good though. They really mm. do. Mm -mm -mm. Well,